Mystic and Mechanic coming at you today with the Dances of Disconnection. Now this is a model that uh, Justice actually taught me um, and, and it's been a little while since he's explained it to me and so he's going to show me again how he uses it. And it was invented by Sue Johnson who is the person who created the emotional, Emotionally Focused Couples Therapy also known as EFT. Not to be confused with the emotional freedom technique or tapping, it's also effective. Yes. Maybe we'll talk about that at some other date. But so emotionally focused therapy is a really wonderful type of therapy that's rooted in concepts of attachment and intimacy, as well as uh, even systems theory. So I really love how it dovetails with so much of the other stuff that we're talking about. And what we get to do with talking about these dances of disconnection that Dr. Sue Johnson found out about in her research uh, is that we get to map our relationships and so what we're talking about uh, what she says is that it takes two to tango and say like this is me over here and uh, I gotta make it a little bit more than just Jay uh, so my side just your side Joe uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about like these moments when we go offline how maybe I say something or give you a look or whatever it is and for whatever reason it's just the straw that breaks the camel's back and how do you explain these kind of like attachment wounds or, or injuries that we target with LI um, how do you see it in this context well so LI is lifespan integration, something that Justice and I are both both use regularly in our practices. And it's a basically a method of finding specific traumas that occurred in our past and rewiring them in the brain so they no longer are uh, uh, they no longer landmines for us essentially in relationships. Exactly. And so, um, to get back to your question, uh, you know this this tool can be a great way for us to figure out what those those particular traumas were. Right. Or, or are. And so one of the really neat things is that you can use lifespan integration to remove some of these landmines. So this really dovetails nicely with, um, with emotionally focused therapy. You can't do this work if there's domestic violence or not safety in the relationship. So you go to this couple stuff when there's safety and you're not going to re-traumatize uh, either party. Um, so, you know, say I do something, I say something, and it just hits you in that soft spot. Um, what's happening for most of us, myself included, this is practice stuff and not perfection. And so we both have our stuff. We both come into any interaction with our history and who we are. And so I say something that it upsets you. How do you usually notice yourself responding when you're hurt? Uh, typically for me, the first thing is irritation. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just put an I for irritation. You know, really I would have said the same thing for myself and put an A for anger or agitation. Same thing. Um, and so you're talking about the cycle here. So I say this thing and it hurts. Uh, mostly what we see is that almost as if there's a water line here. The hurt is relatively unconscious and we don't want to hurt. Like who wants to feel bad, right? And so we skip through that bad feeling really quick and it might be old stuff that we're really well versed in and so then you're irritated at me because I said or did this thing what are you going to notice about yourself next in your process? Um, usually I pull back and start thinking about who's to blame yeah. what's the yeah what's the problem here is this my stuff is this his so right here, I'm just write, writing thinking and what Joe's saying, blame. Um, and it's sort of a, definitely a retracting, like sort of yeah. checking back from the relationship. And, with and it. sometimes I even talk about kind of like a way in which people might even kind of go away. Yeah. Uh, in that sense. Um, and, you know, this is like looking in the mirror for me. Um, this whole approach is really wonderful in a destigmatizing, same as flipping your lid. This happens to all of us. This is how we're wired. This mm -hmm. is kind of human stuff, not there's something wrong with you if you're doing this kind of thing. So thinking blame, you go away. Um, do you ever say anything back or um, like say any of the blame stuff or try and fix it or anything like that? 
Well, I'll argue my case. Okay. I'll come up with some sort of retort, some sort of logical reason why whatever was said doesn't work in a particular situation. Yeah. Probably. You know. Right. That why it doesn't make sense. Right, yeah. To you. Um, and it, you know, this is like looking in a mirror, like I said, because you know, then you say why you make sense and why you're not an asshole, which you know, maybe the old stuff says, right? You know, and so I'm just saying that because that's what happens to me. So you say your stuff about what just happened, mm -hmm. and something in what you said, or your tone of voice or your you know posture or something like that yeah I get triggered and I'm like oh god you know I'm, I'm actually relatively conflict avoidant part of that ADHD stuff but I get scared or triggered that we're fighting now and it's like oh man I don't want to be disconnected from my friend and you know I'll start to blame myself it'll hit one of my landmines right and I'm you know super well versed in um, I suck so if you can read it or not, that says I suck. Um, and I don't want to feel that way, right? And so after a while of I suck, and yeah, I'll probably have gone away here and like sulked or shut down or just kind of agitated. I start to, you know, defend myself. What you're saying is not true. I'm going to build my case and defend myself. And like we've seen with all this flipping the lid stuff, right? Now, unconsciously, even though you're my friend, you've become a threat to me, and hopefully unconsciously, <laughs> I'm saying, <laughs> making this up on the spot, kind of, you know, I'm like, I'm going to make you hurt like I hurt, you mm -hmm. know, so I'm going to hit you, you know, this time I'm doing it on purpose, and I'm like, well, you suck, so there, and right. this is why, right, and you'll see this, like, you're going to talk to us more about with kids, too we we meet people and we we click with people that have corresponding attachment stuff mm -hmm. and this is a crisis of disconnection until we do this work and then it becomes this opportunity for healing and connection and repair where we actually can repair this stuff with each other but first thing we need to do before we're going to get anywhere near that vulnerability is name this whole cycle We've got awesome details already, you know, and everybody at home is like, oh God, it's getting messy again. And justice is drawn all over the place. You don't need to know all these details. What you need to know is that you want to name your cycle of disconnection. You're going to see these patterns come up over and over and you want to give it a name of, you know, I like to throw a little humor in there. So um, one name that I really am fond of is toilet bowl. Because to me, I was I was picturing chest bump. Chest bump. Yeah, two yeah, of us, right, you right. know, doing our hyper masculine, you know, logic argument in, instead of saying something vulnerable. Yeah, totally. Yeah. You know, and so like the more we get to know this about us and our connection or lack thereof, I mean, we'll be like, dude, Joe, or TBCB, and again, you know, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever we want to call it. This gives us a handle on it. So it's just like flipping the lid. This is a label that lets us go, oh, I'm about to do the thing, or I try and hurt you because I'm hurting, and I know what I really want is a friend and connection, mm -hmm. and it's tough for me so, because, you know, <laughs> it's hard to put down my defenses. Um, and so this can be triggering, you know, to talk about this stuff. It really helps to have a third party, and like I said, you don't want to do this work unless there's a sense of safety you can slow it down. You can talk about how this happens to all of us. This would be an example of one that's called Who's the Bad Guy? And uh, Sue Johnson has a wonderful book called Hold Me Tight. That's 20 bucks. Probably find it on Amazon. Maybe we'll do a link to it. But um, Lauren and I, my wife and I called it the fight book because he started talking about this stuff and it's like, <laughs> oh no, now we're here. And so you want to know your reactivity. You want to know this cycle. You want to know that it's both of you. And it's what you're saying, and it's what I'm saying. I think one of the, I mean, one of the most critical things Sue Johnson has brought to the field, maybe others, many others have probably brought it as well, but this idea that the, the, fight, the, the dance is the problem, not the person, totally. not the people. Totally. And to me, that is the meta, the big picture on this. We're looking at the dance. It's not the people... 
We all do it, and Justice was speaking to this earlier, right? This is human behavior. Okay. So if we can we can view the dance as the problem, then we get a little space from it, and and the the level of um, heat goes down. We can sort of help us unflip our lid. Totally. Right. Yeah. If you're flipped, and this is your partner or a really important relationship, you want to go. Hey, we're doing the toilet bowl chest bump. You know, the the dance is the problem. It's not you. It's not me. Let's come back and talk about this when we feel better. Mm -hmm. So pick one of your three things, go away, but have that plan of when you're gonna come back to talk about it. And you're gonna talk about this cycle and you're gonna get curious about it, you know, if, as much as you can. Like, notice your own data. What's going on in your body? Is there heat or is there tightness or defensiveness? Notice, hey, these are regular thoughts that I have. Like, uh, one of mine used to be, um, you know, all, all the wonderful places I could go away to now that this relationship was not working out, <laughs> you know? And so over time, you start to be able to laugh at your monkey mind. You know, you start to be able to laugh at, dude, once right. a week we toilet bowl yeah, chest. Sure. Like, like, can we stop the problem yeah. of this dance and come up with a new dance, you know? And so this is a cycle. This is not just you and your relationships. This is, there's three <coughs> cycles that happen across gender, race, and a lot of categories. Uh, at ICEEFT.com, it's the International Center for Excellence in Emotionally Focused Therapy. There's all sorts of links to research and the science behind Sue Johnson's work. Wonderful community of therapists too. And at the end of the day, what we're talking about are these attachment wounds and how to heal them. And if we can, see the cycle as the problem, if we can slow down this cycle, we get more choices about what to do when we're feeling this way. And at the end of the day, we get more awareness of, well, what's, it's maybe a little deeper than I suck. You know, maybe this is, you know, one of my lifespan integration targets that feels just like the one where I was in, you know, third grade and, you know, this bad thing happened or whatever. But if you can start to talk about your vulnerability, if you can start to own your reactivity, this embarrassing thing that we all do, flipping our lids, when it becomes more and more safe, with this layer of speaking from a place of embodied vulnerability, where we've like slowed the whole thing down. And this takes, you know, people that have done the work, that have studied the model. I'm a total novice at this EFT stuff, but I just love how effective it is for people. And I love how it falls in this category of attachment, how we're all wired, systems view of complexity. And once we know what we're doing, mm -hmm. we can have more tools and more choices to do something differently. Yeah, we can name it to tame it. That's Dan Siegel loves to say oh, that line. Yeah. Yeah, and that's 80% of it right there. Yes.